Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. We started out the day with some rain this morning. 207 inch falling between 8 and 9 o'clock at the airport in Boise. We'll take a look at the village at uh, Meridian here. Ah, that's the live picture right there. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, it's a great animation if I can get this to go here. Let's take a look at it. Uh, all right, try to put this into motion here. That's the wrong one. How about this one? There we go. Let's put that into motion. Here's the rain this morning. Watch it go right here from left to right. That was the rain coming from north to south through the Treasure Valley. And then watch the clouds start to break up. Low clouds are hanging around for a while, but the blue sky is starting to win on out. Still keeping some cloud cover north there in the mountains. Let's take a look at the latest picture here and you see the current temperature. It's warming up quite nicely at the village at Meridian. 73 degrees. Boy, what a nice afternoon. It is amazing. It's much cooler where the cloud cover is to the east of the Treasure Valley or the east of Ada County. Uh, some storms near the mountain home area. Folks getting some uh, gusty winds, some brief heavy rain and lightning nearby. But it's 73 in Boise. North northwest winds at 17 miles per hour. Hour, so it is breezy out there. Look at this beautiful view from McCall. Not a lot of boats, but they're starting to show up here in the harbor right now. And uh, you see blue skies to the north. You're likely to see a little bit of a warm up over the next couple days, a few degrees. So not bad in McCall right now. That north wind at 17 coming right in from north to south right here as we're looking due north in this picture. This satellite picture shows very well the line of cloud cover. You see it here, eastern Boise County from around Loman, and you head to the east. Idaho City, uh, generally sunshine, but to the east of here, we've got the clear, the uh, cloudy skies. And and everything is coming in from northeast to south southwest here. And so warmer to the west and drier, 75 in Ontario. Twin Falls is 62 with some showers nearby. I want to zoom on in, show you the visible satellite loop here, and show Ada County in the clear. And I'm trying to track these clouds. Generally, they're heading down in this direction. We will likely keep a lot of sunshine. We may get some cloud cover pushing towards Boise. But with the sun setting in the west uh, and low in the west, it'll be shining under some of this cloud cover. So we'll get sunshine all the way up into this region right here. The purple you see, those are hay. Hail tracks. That's where we've had some hail. And right across the interstate, we probably had some pea sized hail across the interstate between Mountain Home and Hammett, west of Glens Ferry there. And it was a little hail down here north of Richfield. In the Magic Valley, we have this cloud cover. But I still think. We'll keep dry conditions through most of the Treasure Valley tonight, especially in Canyon County. Here's our storm system to the south. Everything going clock, counterclockwise and feeding into this low pressure. So that's the direction movement of these storms. Dry weather is trying to work its way in. The storm will go to the south, and then it will track on off to the east and northeast. And a big storm system, eastern Wyoming, under winter storm watches. There's some winter storm warnings in effect as well, as it will get some pretty heavy snow, up to 7 inches possible in Laramie. Uh, this is going to be uh, on Saturday night, mostly on Sunday as well, as this system draws away. It'll bring a breeze tomorrow as the wind blows into the storm system during the day tomorrow. But there's warmer weather to the west. The cool weather will slide to the east. And that warmer weather really warming things up along the west coast right now. And we're going to experience some of that as we head towards Saturday. We get to the mid 70s. Sunday, I think low to mid 70s, but it's still, the winds will go very light. And it will be an absolutely picture perfect day coming up uh, during the day on Sunday. So there's that system pushing to the south overnight tonight. This is tomorrow. Clear skies. Here's Sunday. Sunshine as well. Looking really nice. And then as we move ahead to Monday, that's when we have a chance for some uh, showers trying to move on in, mostly to the mountains. This is the breeze on Saturday. Not so strong in the Magic Valley, but we could get some gusty winds actually south of I-84 during Saturday afternoon. So breezy but comfortable tomorrow with all that warm air coming in from the west. It should be pleasant, but very slow to warm up in eastern Idaho. It'll be much cooler in eastern Idaho. 77 in Ontario, 75 Boise, Meridian, Cuna, Mountain Home. Breezy with some gusty winds. Gets a little bit warmer with that sunshine. Should be a nice day again. Sunday, just picture perfect as we settle that wind down. 60s in Long Valley, 73 Riggins. Garden Valley, 73 Pine. You'll hit 69 degrees for the high temperature tomorrow. You've had showers and storms. A few more tonight. But then you should clear them out during the day tomorrow. We've had some lots of cloud cover. Had a heavy rain report, nearly a half inch in Haley uh, earlier today. But now we're still seeing the showers and storms. We'll likely see some drier weather moving in there and in the Magic Valley as well. So tomorrow, breezy and pretty nice. On Sunday, Mother's Day, beautiful. Light wind, sunshine. The birds will be chirping. It'll be great. Things will be growing rapidly with the recent rains we've had. And look at this extended forecast. There are a slight chance of storms over by Friday. We have a better chance of storms coming into the mountains. Mountains, it'll be a better chance for storms, a 30% chance all next week, but this weekend dry with lots of sunshine tomorrow and on Sunday. This is a good looking weekend. Yeah. I was a little concerned about it yesterday. Now I feel comfortable that we are in great shape. It got really nice today. You know, it's 70 degrees, it right. was nice, and tomorrow will be 75. Sure busted out really nice midday, but yeah, that's yeah, a good look weekend. This morning, yeah. All right, thanks, Scott. Enjoy it. The Statesman's Living Healthy magazine comes out Saturday, and this is the annual bike edition. I spoke with Rocky Barker about it.